lobotomized animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? Yes, animal. Hormones, pores, glands, all wrapped up in skin. Who knows what terrifying secrets lie beneath your epidermis? Scalpels shall tell us your secrets, even if we must cut deep for such knowledge. I was head of my biology class at American High, you know. Before you is the brain of Dr. Boros, head of animology, bestology, and DNA scrambling technology here at Big Mountain. I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze, especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once, especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors, the happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers, they are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. Indeed, docile, curious, safe, sterile. They are contained here at Big Mountain to preserve DNA and for observation. Because Big Mountain safety measures are far more sophisticated than their primitive animal instincts. We are their lords and masters. No, such creatures are found only here, for research purposes. They would no more be capable of escape than breeding. I cannot expect a lobotomite to understand the careful surgical castrating procedures used in their creation. Perhaps a demonstration of my castrating power would settle your doubts. Oh, that's too bad. Perhaps we can perform a sterility castration some other time then. Nonsense! That is what you speak. Nonsense! From beyond! I was at the top of my high school class in American high school. I knew facts. I knew figures. I knew data. We would know if our research was flawed. It is not! We never contradict ourselves, so do not even try! In 2000, let's see, carry the three, then count backwards with the great static, or beyond, there were the tarantula debates, and something about hawks, which made it around. 2003, May, Tuesday, it was definitely Tuesday. Why are we even debating this? What you ask is of no importance. Mobius besieges us. There are more important things to worry about than data and facts. The malignant tumor that is Mobius plagues us all. His hunger for power, insatiable. From his lair in the Forbidden Zone, his terrifying robo-scorpion army clicks and whirs across the crater of Big Mountain, ever seeking, ever stinging. He must be stopped, or all of Big Mountain shall be destroyed. The radar fence protects us all. If evidence is correct, the one who built it is me. It keeps anything with a disembodied brain inside. 
like us. And anything without a brain, also inside. It is the ultimate defense against communist aggression. There'll be no infectious ideas on my watch. It makes perfect sense. Who are you to question the mighty radar fence? Ever since my anxiety-filled days of powerlessness and being bullied in American high school, I have dreamed of such security as the fence. That and giant cybernetic dogs that would ruthlessly patrol and kill anyone who wasn't my friend, like Richie Marcus and Betsy Bright. Who's laughing now, Betsy? I hope you and Richie are happy smoking in your radioactive coffins. I'm glad you never came to my birthday party. No! Beyond is death, despite mounting evidence to the contrary. No matter where these strange humans wander in from with their ideas and new brains, there is nothing beyond Big Mountain. Enough! Stop filling my precious brain cell units with irrelevant data. You sound like the other visitors, making wild claims of a world beyond, where there is a war beyond war. It is unproven and unthinkable. Bother the other doctors with your crackpot theories. I have no time. None of us do. There is logic and purpose in it. If these technologies are needed to pierce the forbidden zone, so be it. Science is powerful, and in the right hands, our hands, if we had hands, we would be nigh unstoppable. It is our home. Threatened by the horrors of Mobius. All we wish to do is continue our research. Layer upon layer, above and beneath the floor of the crater, until we have our answers. But no, Mobius will not let us rest. Scaring us with his scary robots, with their laser tails, and blowing up all the time. It was not our first choice of testing grounds, but we no longer have the luxuries of our test cities. Then we lost the mountain. After the explosion, we couldn't find it anymore. So the crater became our testing grounds for science. Yes. In the past, individuals would come to us, pay for technology, and if their town, community, or city was just right, we could use that city as a controlled experiment. Vault-Tec was much better at it, of course. We had to make do. Get permission. Sometimes. If only we could have used commie cities. But capturing whole cities was hard, so we captured enough commies to make cities of our own. So we had a group of Chinese prisoners to experiment on. Those were the days. But the true test was science on unsuspecting Americans. Whether it was holograms, new autodocs, toxins, vending machines, we wound them up, let them go into tiny, isolated towns. Then, we observed. Boom! Yes, quite unexpected and embarrassing. All better now after the landscaping, though. Much more pleasing to our monitors. And the crater helps keep everything inside, because it is bowl-shaped. Submit your questions. I shall respond with deadly answers.
Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the sink. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Indubitably, sir, but it is with a great lugubriousness that I must disclose that my program has installed only the masculine honorific, sir. Moreover, they neglected to enclose a parameter by which said honorific might be omitted altogether. Over my most strenuous of remonstrances, sir. In addition to managing the personality matrices of the other household utilities, I can provide, sir, with direct access to the commissary. Any goods, sir, might require may be purchased through my shopkeep interface, whence tiny robots shall deliver them forthwith to this very domicile. Very good, sir. And might I venture to opine that a new trilby might be just the thing to complete sir's ensemble. are precisely where sir has left them and should the toaster say otherwise i remind sir that it is a waste room
I'm afraid my children...
mighty think tank, still cowering in your dome? Cower, you fools, cower. Think you'd make it back? Almost didn't. Got my answers. Your Elijah, he met the gods in this place. 
did a good job of making them question the way of things. Do you know where he went? He's gone to the Sierra Madre. That's a special kind of hell. He won't come back. Someone smarter and tougher is going to kill him. If the Madre doesn't. I have to go after him. Not going to talk you out of it. Know what it means to track someone you share history with. Got a meeting of my own. That courier? Get her to come to me. Got a message for her. Like the message she had for me. Make them walk the road west, straight and true. Sink their feet in old world ash. Let storms tear at them. See the divide. See what happened. The divide? There's nothing there. Nothing there. Like the big empty. The Sierra Madre. No. The old world sleeps there. Sure as the flag I carry. The courier knows the way. And at the divide. Her and I. There. We'll have an ending to things. Don't want to argue philosophy with you. Brotherhood are preservationists. Tech in the wrong hands, it's dangerous. Mojave's proof. No denying that. Proof's here in this crater, all around us. Your tribe, the Brotherhood. Haven't met many of you. Wanted to. Thought you might be the last chance for the Mojave, the West, the East. But you're all the same mind. Obsessed. Elijah is obsessed. He's mad. It's why they ordered his execution. Two are more alike than you know. Two wrapped up in the wrong bits of history to see ahead. Not judging. I know how it is. People are like couriers. You and him. Sometimes don't even know the message they bring. You all had a new flag. Thought maybe new ideas along with it. What you believe isn't any better than the bear or bull. No future in either. So says the man with the old world flag on his back. America, the Commonwealth, burned away. America sleeps. And until it's dead, I carry it. Just like I carried you. More than hope. Belief. There's voices here in the big empty. I want to talk to them. Not like your Elijah did. Got questions. Want to hear history give its answer. I, Dr. Mobius, will soon control you and all of science!